This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Sylvia Perez, Linda Yu, and weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler. This is ABC 7 News at 11. But first, we're heading over to the kitchen to learn how a slow cooker can be used to make some classic Indian dishes. Well, it's a dilemma many moms and dads face. How do you find time to cook creative, healthy, and original meals for your family? It was a question a former Chicago television reporter struggled with after the birth of her two daughters and a job that had her alarm clock squawking it. Believe it or not, 1.30 in the morning. We've both been there, yes, right, Karen? Yes, we have. We know that feeling. Well, Anupi Singla also wanted to make sure that her children were introduced to Indian cuisine, and all of those ingredients went into her new book, The Indian Slow Cooker. And Anupi is joining us now. So good to see it's you. It's good to see yeah. you both. Yes. We worked together back in the day. Well, a lot of people don't know that you helped me get that job at CLTV as well. <laughs> you see, and, and, and she, her advice, career has remember? surpassed mine. <laughs> You've got a book. <laughs> Talk so just a little bit about it. Yeah. so good here. What yeah. do we have here? Well, this is all about India, and I was born in India, but raised outside of Philadelphia. I came to Chicago about 11 years ago. Okay. And so I, most of my family doesn't know that I know how to cook, apparently, <laughs> but um, I've always cooked, and I've loved it, and I thought I'd make it really easy. So I'm going to just show you how to, make, how to prep a quick chicken curry. Okay. A lot of people think it's so complicated. Um, it's really not. So I take a blender, and I basically, um, a food processor, I should say, and I've got onions, ginger, garlic, tomatoes right in here. And so many people are intimidated, I think, especially when it comes to Indian cuisine mm -hmm. and and other things like that yep. because of the time involved. And that was one of your struggles right. as you as, yeah. as you had kids. Well, you know how it is. I mean, you've got two little ones, yeah. Ben, and it's hard to get up on those early shifts and go and, and um, do it all and cook too and cook healthy on right. top of it. Right. And so this was a way to kind of do that. And so for the chicken curry, I'm going to show you. It's basically yogurt is kind of the base, about okay. a cup of yogurt with that blend. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just blend up some spices. Mm. Um, we've got some garam masala. And I keep everything in a spice box. And that's kind of the key to Indian cooking to make it really easy. You dole out your spices right over wherever you're cooking. Right. And let me ask you about that because the whole idea of the slow cooking is to make it easy. So mm -hmm. I would imagine the opposite of that, it's, it's very involved and has a lot of steps, right? You know, yeah, normally there are. If you look at some of the traditional cookbooks, there are a right. lot of steps. Mm -hmm. I found that when I did some of my testing, I was able to throw all the spices into the slow cooker because it's cooking so slowly. Mm -hmm. All those spices are actually breaking down. So there's not as many steps. And you say when the spices break down in the slow cooker, it actually really develops the flavor even more. It's amazing, and that's why I want you to add eventually taste all this. Mm. Um, one of the secret ingredients to my chicken curry um, is dry fenugreek mm. okay. leaves. And this is something that you'll find at any Indian grocery store. Um, and most of these spices you can get at most mainstream grocers now, Whole Foods, yeah. possibly Dominic's as well. And the smell. I wish people could smell this at home. <laughs> it's just so intoxicating. It's yeah. wonderful. So and then all this just breaks down into the chicken. And exactly. after how many hours would you say? So for the chicken curry, now everything's a little bit varied, right? So right. in terms of cooking time. So the chicken's already in there. Yeah, she's okay. got so some we're gonna raw put chicken this in all there. in here okay. with the yogurt, and this will be eight hours oh. on low. Right. Okay. So you put you started that at 1.30 in the morning when you got up and then you went to work, came home, and yeah. lunch yeah. is ready. Except I was at home working with my kids, yeah. trying to get them dressed Wonderful. for school this morning. And um, how do the kids like it? That's the big test. And that was why, part of the reason why I took a step back from a day-to-day -day work job to see mm -hmm. if I could get them to eat healthier. Mm. They love Indian food now, and that's what they ask for. They don't ask for mac and cheese, they don't ask for the pizzas, they ask for the Indian food. And it's healthy. Oh, that's great. Yeah. great. You're able to use some of your mom's recipes, which is a great family yeah. connection. Yeah. Anupi, so good to see you again. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank We've got you. all your information, her cookbook, her recipes, all of it is uh, on a link on our website. Just swing over to abc7chicago.com. I'm going to take a test, taste test. <laughs> <laughs> and Karen we'll loves Indian food. I do. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Is that okay? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>